Steve, we actually met in 2000 at Ferris Baker Watts. I moved out of the Baltimore office in 2000. Steve joined the Annapolis office where I was. Uh, so we re kind of rekindled our friendship in 2004. I really want to say the genesis of where we are now as Alpha Point Capital really started in the re Great Recession of 2008. We were under great duress, as were many clients out there, and we took the time to really work hard to get us out of the hole, get our clients out of the hole, see our clients through this tremendous turmoil and volatility. And when you look across the room and see a guy who's getting in the office early and staying late like I was, you know, there's something about that. And uh, Steve and I started talking and really kind of getting into more personal uh, business, if you will, and how do you operate? You seem to like the same things I like. You know, how do you go about managing a portfolio in the same way that you do it? We came to the conclusion that we were very similar in the way we viewed the markets. We were very similar in how we viewed client service. And uh, so that really, I want to say, 2008, as horrible as it was for a lot of folks, I got to look back in, in the context of that's where I found a partner that I can work with, you know, and I feel like we have the longevity and I know that if we go through anything as horrible as that type of an event, that we're going to be able to get through it. Vince Pasco came on board with us just this September and um, we're starting to execute upon our growth plans in terms of uh, we want to build out the practice. Uh, we're building out a practice that is very investor centric. Um, we are the single point of contact and what I mean by that is we are in charge of all the investment decisions in-house. We are not farming that out. Now when I go about explaining this to folks, you know, we're now challenging Vince that when you're bringing on clients, you, number one, you're going to stay with them and number two, we're going to have to find a way to invest that person's money. Um, so Part of that with Vince is that this is, this is a sharing of our knowledge and bringing it to uh, more and more advisors. We think what we're doing may sound a little far-fetched, but we're sort of a dying breed. There are very few of us left that are out there getting, rolling up our sleeves, getting our hands dirty, and getting into this muck called the stock market. <laughs> um, so Vince comes to us. He's got a, a CPA background. Um, was uh, COO president of a couple of real estate firms, commercial real estate firms in Bethesda. So he has a good business resource background that we thought was a good complementary service to how Steve and I, when we work with business owners, we try to offer them more than say just our wealth man management solutions. Well now we have Vince who can kind of help with those resources as well. We love to invest in strength and it's really a, a, a a trend following price momentum way of looking at the markets. We believe that price is right. Um, there's no refuting it. It's the culmination of the only law of economics, which is supply and demand. So there's a lot of people that say, well, the price is not right, but we kind of think that, well, the, the buyers and sellers came to an agreement and, and are either gonna say, push Amazon above 900 bucks a share or what have you, that's not for us to judge. What for us is to judge and what we try to help our clients with is will that continue? Is there a trend within that price rising higher or moving lower? And if there is a trend, we want to be part of that trend. Um, so we, we view our, our, our philosophy is very price centric and we believe it. There are trends in the stock market. Um, we see trends actually in the global marketplace, commodities, bonds, international assets, emerging dom uh, uh, domestic. So when you look at the markets through a ranking, we can rank the major asset classes, we can rank sectors within a particular economy or countries themselves, we can go right on down to the securities themselves. So it's a very much a top-down type of approach with, with relative strength or price momentum being the guide.